he scrambled to buy himself some time on a throw. He scrambled and picked up a key first down. The junior quarterback at the controls for Lebanon. Reeves, the fullback, got seven on first down. It's second down now and a short three for the Blue Devils, and they're at the 23 of the Golden Eagles. Blue Devils trying to draw first blood here tonight. C is wide to the left. Carson and Zachary split out wide to the right. Pitt will call him, and Pitt surges straight ahead, and Pitt got nothing. Loose football. Shelby Bull has it. Lebanon trying to run the quarterback sneak. Just wedge Damon right up the gut. The ball squirted loose. Jerome Williams for Shelbyville, the sophomore cover linebacker, falls on the football. And now Lebanon stops themselves with the fumble. Shelbyville back in business on offense. All right, we'll get our second look at Shelbyville. Not a lot of offense out of them before, but boy, they've got speed at the skill positions and a quarterback can th throw it in Cleveland. Cleveland hand off to his big fullback and he's still on his feet. Out over the 25 out to the 29 yard line may have the first down running the football Jerome Williams of 5'9", 165 pound sophomore. He's the kid who recovered the fumble. 47 carries on the year coming into this game. 235 yards two touchdowns for Williams. They'll rotate Williams and Martin at fullback, and now Martin comes into the game at fullback. And he picked up a first down. Shelby Bulls first. Out of the huddle come the Eagles and up to the line. Cleveland will set him down. Split to the near side is uh, his tight end, and they give it across the right tackle slot. Carrying a ball is Mike Scott. And Scott's going to get about three yards, punches it out to about the 32-yard line. John, it looks like a little more physical brand of football out of the Blue Devils tonight. They're playing with a lot more emotion, Tommy. And Titus Kelly came up and made a big tackle there. He actually made an arm tackle on that running back to pull him down, but he did the job. Williams back in at a running back, and they're going to give it. No, back to throw is Cleveland. Looks, fires long downfield. Tressler is the nearest man to it. Couldn't get to it. Cleveland almost threw it to Lebanon. And then Tressler was running at breakneck speed, crossing the field like the yard or so, being able to catch up to that one. But Tressler, along with Ron C., was a lot closer than the Shelbyville receiver to that pass. Trying to hit Brian Ransom up the middle. And believe it or not, folks, Ransom, a sophomore, averages 40 yards a catch. Well, he probably had it that time. He's got all four of their touchdown receptions. Last week, he had two plays of over 60 yards each. Okay, here come the Eagles. Third down and seven now for the Eagles. Big third down play. Cleveland down the line. Pitch, bad pitch. Going to pick it up, and they're going to lose. Lebanon back there on them, making the stop for the Blue Devils or putting the clinch as uh, Tim Kelly way back at the 25-yard line, and it'll bring up fourth and 14 now for the Eagles, and the Lebanon defense comes through and made uh, Cleveland make a bad pitch. Well, that's what practice will do for you because Gannon has been told in practice to play the quarterback soft in the option, slow him down, make him make the decision. He decided to pitch it on the ground. Big play for Lebanon. Martin to kick it away. Martin will kick. Lebanon twin safeties is Zachary and Tressler, and here is a kick. Pretty good one. Going to be fielded by Zachary. Fumbles it, picks it up, gets a block, heads for the far side, shakes his own man back to the 45, out to the 50-yard line, and in Shelbyville territory at the 49. So the Blue Devils get a good exchange there. But good job by Lebanon's Zachary as he kind of bobbled the return just a little bit, turned it upfield. Terry, what about the kick and the return? Kick by Martin was good for 30 yards. Zachary returned it six yards to the Eagle 49. That's where Lebanon takes over. Lebanon will have it at the Eagle 49-yard line. Zachary comes to the near side. Hankins is split to the far side, almost in the Lebanon huddle, and nobody is covering him over there. I don't know if they've seen him yet or not. Pitt. Going to hand it off to Stafford, and Stafford's not going to get back to the line of scrimmage. He's going to jam back to the 50. Boy, they're really laying for him in there. And Stafford is going to lose a yard, and it'll be second down and 11 for the Blue Devils at midfield. Shelbyville defensively, they've got some size along the front, 245 and 240, those two interior tackles. Plus, you figure Torrey Smith, that big rush linebacker, they'll line that big guy up somewhere along the front, and he goes at 255 pounds. Seeing Zachary to the near side, 
Pitt will call him second down and 11 for the Blue Devils, and Pitt is back to throw. Got time. Got loads of time. Fires in the middle. Complete Zachary down at the 36-yard line. Call it the 37. First down, Blue Devils at the Eagle 37. Almost a drop by Zachary. He battles the football to the ground, juggles it. The ball comes out on the ground. He scoops it back in. Terry, what about the pass and the completion? From the 50 down to the Eagle, 37. That's good for 13 yards and a first down for Lebanon. Tell you what, that one a little bit hard to drop. He really bulleted that one right in the gut. And Zachary had to hang on to that one. He carried it right down to the ground and hung on. C left, Zachary and Carson split wide right. First and 10 Blue Devils at the Eagle 37. Lebanon still trying to get a score, and they give it to Griffin, and the defense, a linebacker shooting through there, was had Griffin by the time he got his hands on the football and making the play for the shovable is uh, the big guy, Jay Davis, a 5'11", 245-pound sophomore. That's going to that's gonna be a good Good defensive scheme for Shelbyville. They're going to rush in there, try to disrupt the offense. But at some point, Lebanon's going to get single coverage on Elliott Carson. And when they do, it's going to be a big play for Lebanon. Second and 10. No gain on the play. Pitt will call him. Pitt pitches back to Stafford. He's hit behind the line, shakes a man, gets hit again, and dropped back at the 40-yard line, a loss of three. Shubba will really come in. They're just laying back their ears and coming. Let them go have to go to the air on these guys. Ron C. trying to stalk block out there, John, and he really couldn't do much uh, because the corner got so much penetration. You're right, you are, Tommy. Ron did a good mirror block on the uh, cornerback and at the last moment laid into him. When he did block him, the cornerback ran right into our running back. So it uh, didn't work out the way we intended. This sideline report is brought to you by Ron's Family Hair Design. Risk-free hairstyling on video. Check it out. Call Ron or Cam for more information. Third and 13 for the Blue Devils at the Eagle 40. Pitt back to throw. Looks, looks, got time. Here comes the rush. Fires in the middle. He's got Zachary again down inside the 35. I think they're not going to give him the 35. I thought he was a foot or so inside the yard marker. It's going to be shy, but it'll be close enough, I think, for the Blue Doubles to go for it. It will bring up a fourth down and uh, four for the Blue. Lebanon's already had several fourth down situations in this game. We drew them off sides at one point. We ran Zachary in the flat, excuse me, ran Griffin in the flat for a first down. Uh, Joel Griffin, Lebanon's quarterback, Damon Pitt, signals timeout. Hello, I'm Joanne Sutter, a junior football cheerleader here at LHS. We're here with Mr. Alan Bain of Piggly Wiggly, and we would like to thank them for their support to present to them a football souvenir. Good luck, Lebanon Blue Devils. Go, Big Blue! Terry Stafford, John Bryan on the field, and Clyde Harville bringing you the play-by-play -play right here live on WANT. No score in the first half, 6.31 to go in the half. Big fourth down play for the Blue Devils. Zachary comes wide to the right. C is split left. Reeves, your fullback. Griffin is the tailback, and Pitt will make the call. Pitt back to throw. Look, swings it out to Griffin. Got one man to beat. Gets by. Tight ropes down the sideline. He has the first down. Rolls over the 25. Down over the 24 to the 23. Maybe the 22-yard line. Goes Griffin on a little swing pass. We hadn't seen a lot of that this year, but it looks awfully good from up here. John, it is so difficult to cover Griffin in the open field. I'll tell you what, Tommy. You gave him a head of steam and the football, and he's tough to bring down in the open field, much less to catch. This sideline report is brought to you by Automotive Wheel Services, featuring Bridgestone Tires, the next revolution in tires. First and 10 Blue Devils from the Eagle 22. Blue Devils getting serious about scoring. Delay play left side. Stafford crosses a 20 over the 18 down to the 17-yard line, but I think Lebanon had movement in the backfield, and I'm sure it's going to be a legal motion, Lebanon, and that'll cost us five, and that's our second penalty of the night. Is that right, Terry? That's right, Clyde. Two penalties now for Lebanon for 10 yards. One for the Eagles for five. And that's a shame. Stafford had a good head of steam and got a good block between Cripps and Hicks. Was able to wedge that thing out there for some good yardage, and that's going to be negated by the penalty. Bring up first and 15. Tommy, that looked like some sort of a delay. What, uh, what they're doing, running a little counter step with Stafford. They've got Griffin or the fullback, whoever that is, in that offset position. We have run the trap out of that a lot. They're looking at the fullback, and then we're giving the football back to the tailback. C left, Zachary right, Pitt will call him first and 15, handoff to Stafford, and he's going to get to the 25 and no more. Stafford gets a good yard and no more. Shovel will just jamming it up in the middle and Lebanon not able to move him out. Just a lot of blue jerseys and bodies down there for Shelbyville. 
as uh, Stafford finds very little running room. Gary, what about uh, Chris Stafford tonight running the football? Tommy, the Eagles have done a good job on both Griffin and Stafford. Griffin, six carries for four yards. Stafford, seven carries for only seven. Again, Lebanon same formation. Zachary Wright, C left, and Pitt will call Lebanon jumps, and that's going to cost us five again. Lebanon. Chris Hicks moved that time, and John, we have changed our snap cadence a little bit, haven't we? It's obviously showing on this offensive line. I, they're as confused as Shovel is, and uh, it's costing us some uh, big yards here down close, almost in the red zone. Tommy, I'd like to tell you about this field. It is the slickest field conditions we played on all year. Evidently, Bedford County has had some amazing rain today. Uh, and uh, this field is just really, really wet. All night last night and a good one this morning, they tell us. So that explains that. Lebanon, same formation, second down and 18. Pitt wants to throw. Shakes one man, still on his feet. Hit and drop back at the 36-yard line. Finally making the play for the Shelbyville Eagles is uh, Patrick Bailey. Well, you can only shake, rattle, and roll so much in Damon Pitt. Dodge, the first two would-be tacklers, but Patrick Bailey, 245-pound interior lineman, finally catches up with him, and Lebanon now looking at a third down and forever. And I don't know if there's a good play in the playbook for this third down yardage. Well, we got to go to the 12-yard line, and we're on the 36. Third down and long for Lebanon. Back to throw is Pitt, and he's going to be tackled back inside Lebanon territory. And again, it's Bailey making the play. Excuse me, not Bailey, Jay Davis, the 5'11", 245-pound sophomore who was coming on a blitz, and Pitt couldn't get away, and Lebanon is going to have a fourth at midfield, fourth and uh, a bunch. The play fake is not holding those linebackers. They've had enough success stopping the run that the blitzer is just forgetting about the play fake and coming straight on the quarterback, and our quarterback never had a chance. is going to kick it away. And Martin will return it. They'll try to get it. They put 10 men up on the line. Tressler ready and the snap, and Tressler will kick it and hit a beauty, but the whistles had already blown. <laughs> Illegal procedure Lebanon, so, well, it looks like one of those nights we're going to rack them up in penalties again. Well, maybe we're just giving Tressler enough yardage out there where he's got enough room to work and try to kick another one out of bounds down inside the five-yard line. Too much movement up front. Not really a lack of discipline by that offensive front tonight. Tressler will stand at his own 32-yard line. And here's the snap. It's high. He's got a little room, and they block it. They got a hand on it. Big 61 catches it at the 47-yard line, and they're in business. Shelbyville coming, and Lebanon not keeping them out. And the Eagles have their best field position of the night. They're on the Lebanon side of the 50 at the Blue Devil 47-yard line. John, did you get a look at uh, the blocker of that punt who blocked it? No, Tommy, we're on the other side of the field uh, at that point, but uh, this is a, a shovel team who blocked two punts last week, got one tonight against us. Brian Ransom running, loose football, and the pitch is back to the quarterback, Cleveland. Lebanon going to knock him down inside the 44 at the 43-yard line, and a little razzle-dazzle there by Shelbyville, and they're going to wind up with about four yards out of what looked like a broken play, but it wasn't. They're going to give him all the way to the 43-yard line, a gain of four, second down and six for the Eagles. They ran that little reverse that Mount Juliet ran against us last week, and at the last moment, the runner pitched the ball back, just kind of a, a, a backyard football play, and they got some positive yardage on it. 2.20 to play in the opening half. There is no score here in Shepperville. They hand it to the tailback going to the wide side, and Lebanon jams him up after about a two-yard gain. Carson had a hand on him. Big number 58 for the Blue Devils in there was the initial tackler, Ryan Alls. And Lucas was in on the play, and they get it down to the Lebanon 42, and it will bring up a third.